Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another doll unboxing. And today we are tackling a doll that I am so excited to get to have in my hands. And that is the uh, Chloe doll from the Bratz Pretty and Prunk reproduction line. I, like, I can't believe she's here. It's kind of a surreal moment for me. Pretty and Punk has always been one of my favorite Bratz lines. When I was a kid, I've talked about this a few times on this channel, but I didn't have like a ton of Bratz as a kid. Most of the Bratz that I had were like from a secondhand lot that my parents bought at like a yard sale or something like that. So they weren't complete and like I didn't pick most of the Bratz that I wanted. I don't remember when I first saw this one. I don't know if it was when I was a kid or if I was like a teenager at that point, but I've always thought that this was such a fun line, such a well-designed line. And the thing is, is like the non-reproduction ones, very expensive on the secondhand market, especially Chloe. Chloe is by far my favorite because of the hair. I think her hair is just so beautiful. And I'm so excited that Bratz decided to reproduce this line because now I have the opportunity to have her. Like I know she's not the OG and I know for some people that makes a big difference. I don't care. I'm so excited to have her. Like I understand if you do feel that way, I'm not judging you. But for me, this is good enough and I'm just really excited. Also, I'm very excited because I had pre-ordered her on Amazon literally the second that listing went up like i was on it i was ready as soon as i could find her she was pre-ordered i waited like a whole month and a half for amazon to say that she was going to be delivered she was shipped allegedly like it said your delivery scheduled for today she's shipped she's coming out to you and then all of a sudden it was like just kidding it's actually going to be another like two months before we can get her out to you so i went to the lol surprise website and thankfully mga had her in stock so that's how I got her. That's a very long-winded story. I know that probably some of you guys don't care, but I was so scared that I wasn't going to be able to get my hands on even the reproduction version of this doll. So like, I'm just so excited that like I can touch her and like I have her and I can unbox her with you guys. So you've been staring at the front of the box. You can see Chloe and then also her extra outfit and extra accessories. I love the chain detail on here. And then on the back of the box, you can see a photo of some of the dolls and then art of Chloe. So, I mean, obviously I'm very, very excited to get into her. If you guys are just as excited as I am and you like the video, if you could give it a like, that's super helpful to me. And if you're new here and you enjoy your time today, definitely subscribe so you can see more. But without further ado, I've waited long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox her off camera really quick and then we will regroup to discuss everything she comes with. And I'm just ready to have a good time today with you guys. I will be right back. Okay, I've got Chloe and her goodies all unboxed. She does not come with a stand, so instead, for now, she is hanging out in the corner. I promise it's not shameful like it looks. We just have to talk about everything else that she comes with before we can talk about the doll herself. So, sorry, Chloe. We'll get to you in a second. <laughs> so the first thing that she comes with is a poster. I will, like, include a proper photo of this because I'm only showing you half of it right now. But the front half does have, like, this image of the art for the Chloe doll. And then it has like her name spelled out. And then the backside has like a photographic image of three of the dolls. I do think this is really interesting because Chloe is not wearing the same makeup. We'll, we'll go ahead and pull her out of her little purgatory over here for a second. The makeup is not even close to the same, right? Like <laughs> the lips are the thing that stood out to me the most, but the eyes are also super different. So that was very interesting to see. And then also... Um, I don't know if there's any differences in the Yasmin doll. I'm not as familiar with her, but the Jade doll comes with her hair up and like a little ponytail up here. And she doesn't have that in this image. So that was just very interesting. Cause like, it's cool to have, but it's so uncanny. <laughs> and I don't know why the image is like so inaccurate to the dolls. It doesn't necessarily matter to me. But it's just like kind of an interesting tidbit to show off. Um, then she also comes with a typical Bratz brush. And then we've got her little suitcase here. So there's a couple of handles. There's one on the side and one on the top. And then also an extra one on the top that can like telescope out a little bit. Like an actual proper suitcase. And it does have wheels on the bottom so you could like roll it around. I love that. It's cute. It's functional. And then it does actually open up. There's not like a ton of space in here, but if you are someone who likes to utilize like doll bags and um, suitcases and stuff like that for storage, there's a little something in here for you. So that's quite cute. And then I will be putting her in her second outfit at the end of the video so we can see how it looks on her, but I do want to just go over it like off of her really quickly. So first of all, we have this dress and it is so 
well made you guys like this is so good it's so thick like it's a denim material and it just feels so sturdy i feel like all of the ribbons that are sewn on the front here are sewed down so well there's like one little loose thread over here but it's not a super big deal we have a couple of clear straps to kind of keep it on the doll a little chain on the side as well as some um, vinyl embellishments there's not anything on the back but like the front of the dress looks so good and also in between like the pleated panels there is plaid material sewn in there so depending on how you pose her or just how it lays on the doll you might get a little peek of that and I just think that is such a lovely detail because like I didn't even know that was there you know <laughs> having not had the original doll I have no idea how she compares necessarily to the original I don't know if that was something that was on the original but I just saw this in stock photos and I figured it was just a denim dress so having that detail is just so fun to me it wasn't necessary you know like I would have been happy with this I would have been perfectly thrilled to just have this dress and then to add that level of detail I just feel like it shows so much care and I really really appreciate it and then the second piece of her second outfit is this leather not actual leather it's more like a vinyl jacket and again, it feels so like thick and sturdy. Um, and then it does have like a proper closure in the front here. So you can see each of these actually buckles in and you have to like unbuckle them so that you can then open the jacket. I probably have a tea tie or something on here. I do, sorry. That was supposed to be a big fun reveal and I just didn't do my job well enough. <laughs> okay, so if you're not like me, and um, you actually cut the tea ties before you open the jacket, that would have been a very satisfying open. I think that that's so lovely that we have this like three layered functioning closure. Also, mad props to the Bratz team, whoever was in charge of packaging here, because the tea ties were in between the teeth of this little fake zipper here. So instead of me having holes in the vinyl of the jacket, it was just in between these little guys and there's no damage to the actual jacket. And I'm thrilled with that. Like in and of itself, it's a beautiful piece, but the fact that whoever was in charge of packaging took the time and like cared enough to make sure that this didn't get damaged makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> it's such a nice thing to see that it's packaged securely, but it's not damaged from it. And then we get to look at Chloe herself. Her bag was like attached a little bit here. So the one end of her shirt is kind of fraying a bit and her bag was stuck on there, but that's okay. We're gonna look at her face right quick. I think it's cute. I feel like people who are more accustomed to Bratz dolls, like people who have a large collection or a large interest in the older Bratz dolls are able to spot things with the reproductions that I simply can't. So like if you're a hardcore Bratz fan or like you had Bratz, when they first came out, you might feel like this face doesn't look good and you are totally entitled to that opinion. Like, I don't have the frame of reference to compare. So if I had the original Pretty and Punk Chloe, I might not like this face. I don't know. I know that when the Rock Angels came out for their reproductions, people were very upset about the faces and I was super confused. So that might be the case again and I'm sorry if it is. Like, I'm not trying to praise something if it is not good, but like as someone who knows less I think she looks really cute I love the color of her lips the dark eye makeup and like that piercing blue eyes it looks so so nice then we have the hair and this is like my favorite part I will say that I think the original pretty and punk Chloe had a much like whiter blonde hair and I was low-key hoping for that but it is still really pretty I have always loved her because I love the orange streaks orange is my favorite color and I just feel like they're so pretty her hair is gelled like nobody's business in the front, but in the back, it's pretty darn soft. I have no idea what hair fiber it is. I'm just really bad at that. Unless it's like egregiously icky, like some Claudine dolls, um, then I can tell it's probably Poplene, but I don't know what hair fiber this is. It feels nice to rub my fingers through and that's what matters to me. So very happy with that. She's like got the super gel bang up here. Uh, checking the rooting. It's not bad. There's like a couple spots that maybe could have used a plug, but it's really not bad at all. And I couldn't see her scalp in like the areas that aren't 
gelled in a mess. <laughs> so that's what matters to me. Then we get down to her shirt. And I just think this is such a fun little cut, like the off the shoulder with the London printed on. And then we've got a few different fabrics here. There's like a mesh and then a ribbon and then a vinyl collar with the studs on it. It's just so much detail and I'm just so excited. She just looks so cute. I'm, I'm very happy. I did say and show you before that like this little bit is fraying. I'm going to see if I can just like pop that off because it's bothering me. Okay, well, it's not perfect, but I can just cut that off. And given that it's the Pretty in Punk line, her neckline in the back is also pretty messed up. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I do feel like there's some room for error in a punk line because it might look intentionally distressed instead of like bad distressed. Or maybe I'm just being too nice because I'm really excited about this doll. Uh, and then we do have like a fun little tie detail here as well at the bottom of the shirt which I also didn't realize was a thing. And like, it's just so fun because it's just an extra layer of detail. And then of course we have got the jeans. So we've got a matching kind of waistband to how her like choker is that's attached to the shirt. I can't use terms today. I'm so sorry. Like I'm like choker, then I'm like, that's not a choker technically. You know what I mean though. She has a matching waistband there. I missed like a little tea tie. I'll have to grab that. And then more denim for her pants. They are flared out taking me back <laughs> and then we have like the um union jack stripes across the front again nothing on the back but like the front is looking so so good and then her bag that she was carrying this is super cute there's like a vinyl strap and then we have this red pattern with little vinyl accents and it does open and this one is like decently spacious for a doll bag so again if you want to store a little accessory for her in there you absolutely could like that's so cute. So I have to get her into her second outfit so we can see how that looks on her. I have very high hopes. So far, we're having a grand old time. Did I talk about the stickers? I just saw these. Did I talk about the stickers? I'm getting very forgetful lately. We've got a couple of stickers that you can pop onto her suitcase. Anyway, though, back to my train of thought. I'm going to go ahead and pop her into outfit number two so we can look at how that looks on the doll and then we will do like final thoughts on everything uh, but you know preemptively i'm gonna say this is a good one so far it's been good which i love to be able to say so give me one second okay that process actually made me emotional for literally no good reason but taking these pants off i never had these exact pants as a kid but like brat jeans in general they were hard to get on and off like they're very tight to the hips and like the feeling i'm i don't know why i'm so emotional about this but the feeling of like trying to get her pants off so i can change her outfit and like that particular tug and struggle like i had just a flashback to being younger and like playing with these dolls and it's such like a positive and happy nostalgic feeling like i'm very emotional but like i'm just a crier in general like i'll cry for anything so it's not bad it it was just so cute and like it gave me such a sense of happiness and I feel like that is something that is so wonderful about reproduction dolls like obviously I love to see new dolls and new ideas and new creativity but also reproduction dolls I feel like can capture so much of that like nostalgia and the reminiscing and even if you didn't have an exact doll like I know a lot of people weren't able to have Bratz dolls or dolls in general when they were younger having a reproduction I feel like can kind of reclaim that for some people. So I'm very emotional, sorry, that got really heavy, but like in a very good way. You know? <laughs> um, we can take a look more closely at her shoes now that they aren't covered up by jeans. They're very pointy. I cannot imagine being able to actually wear shoes like this. They're just hyper stylized and pretty fun. You know, like for a brat stall, I love these. I would never even want to attempt to wear something like this in person. But they look good on Chloe, and that's what counts. I also did forget to mention that she has little stud earrings in there. So yeah, that is how she is looking in outfit number two. I think I definitely prefer outfit number one. But this is also cute. Like I said, you can get like that little peak of the plaid in there. It's so good. And this jacket is just absolutely phenomenal. I'm, I'm so happy. I love when I get to do reviews like this, and everything is just really wonderful and good and lovely. Oh, I'm having a good day now. The only downside, the biggest negative to this whole thing, if you want like the actual worst thing, it's probably that like the shirt was fraying a bit. That's probably my actual least favorite thing. 
But my <laughs> my least favorite thing is that this was such a fun experience that I want literally all of the other Pretty and Punk reproductions now. Like, I was kind of trying to limit myself to Chloe and maybe one other one, and now I'm like, I genuinely want all of them. <laughs> this was so fun, and the fashions were so good and so high quality that I just want to be able to have more. Like, that's for sure my favorite thing. The quality of these pieces, like these pants and this dress and that jacket they're so high quality i'm just so excited about this so this has been a very very positive review which is my favorite kind of review to get to do i would love to hear from you guys if you have managed to like buy any of the pretty and punk repos and specifically if you have chloe also what your thoughts were on her and like did you guys have this when you were younger okay like someone needs to tell me how accurate this is compared to the original release um but yeah i'm very excited i hope you guys were able to enjoy the video i hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be and i will catch you in the next one bye guys